Sarah's very selfish, very cranky, very entitled. The way that my parents handle Sarah is a disaster. We all would rather let her get away with things than deal with her drama. There's a lot in Sarah's life that my parents don't understand or know about. Sarah's not supposed to be going out to the bars, but she does at least once a week. My sister Sarah does tell me about the guys she goes on dates with. Sarah likes hanging out with bad boys and ex-convicts. Sarah and I have a code word that she can text me. Sarah would send me, I can't feed the dogs tonight if she's ever in trouble and I need to come get her. A few weeks ago, four o'clock in the morning, I got a text from her. She just kept repeating over and over our code word, can you feed the dogs? I just knew we needed to get to her as fast as we could. We rushed to the location on her phone. Sarah was completely inebriated. She could hardly talk to us. She slumped over on a curb. If Sarah doesn't start making some really strong decisions in her life, she's going to wind up dead. Well, Heather, thanks for being here. Thank you. So you give information to your parents about Sarah and you don't feel like you're narking on her. You don't feel like you're ratting her out because you think you're protecting her. If there's something where she, I feel like she's really gone overboard, I will talk to them about it. Is her concern right? Are you a danger to yourself? Sometimes, yeah. No one's perfect. Yeah, no, 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 no. Everybody doesn't have children and drop them off. <laughs> and don't you ask yourself why you, don't you ask yourself why that's what's happened in your life, that you're not with your children? Because I'm a horrible person, okay? Is that what you all want to hear? No, no I want to hear what you think. Why do you think you're in that situation? Because I haven't learned to grow up yet. You get told that you're a certain person every day and you believe it. Uh -huh. You said you think that your emotional age is 13. No, I didn't. You went through a series of questions that with your answers, you say you want what you want when you want it. You don't think you should be held to a standard of an adult. You don't think that consequences should apply to you. These are all of the things that say I'm 13 in emotional age. I guess I'm 13 then. I'm not saying you're 13. I'm saying your problem solving skills have been arrested do you think that is because of drugs? Do you think it's because of alcohol? It's do probably you... a combination of all of it. Because when you start doing drugs and alcohol, your emotional development arrests at that point. You continue chronologically to grow. You even continue intellectually to grow. But emotionally, it arrests at that point because of the effects on your neurotransmitters, your pleasure centers, the maturation process stops. It's not voluntary on your part, it just happens in the brain. And nobody's talked to you about that before. No.